Hey YouTube, uh, how are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to show you really quick if you need to detail a car and you need to take the seat out. Uh, this is a 2015 uh, Chevy Malibu, I believe. And uh, so on the restraints right here, uh, I'll show you how to take it off. It's pretty simple. You're going to need a, an impact wrench like this with the 50 T Torx. Uh, you're gonna need uh, a little pick, so we could pick this up. A screwdriver about this size, and then you're gonna need a little uh, one quarter with a 10 millimeter socket. So here we go. So we're gonna start to, you wanna poke this right in here. You wanna make sure you don't scratch this whole seat belt and if you notice this pops right out so that way you get access to that bolt so you want to save these because all these pieces have to go back in once you're finished and then your 10 millimeter goes here and then you start to loosen some people they uh they get a little bit nervous when it comes to uh, you know taking stuff apart but just remember that how you took it apart is the same way it's going to go back in and just make sure you don't lose anything <laughs> then you take your screwdriver sometimes you have to open it on this case it just popped right out and then this it'll give you space to work so now we're going to put this back in here like so just for the meantime uh, your seats all the way forward the little pieces that you took off, you want to put in a safe place where you can find them later when you put it back together. Now we take our, these seats have two metal hooks in the front and the back is only held by a, by a, a torque screw. So now we're going to go to the back and get all your seat all the way to the front. Now we go to the back. Uh, sometimes these cars have pockets so if you have a flashlight like this you can put it in the pocket and that way it lights up your torques that you're gonna take out so now we're gonna go ahead and take this one out Let's see. make sure that you got your wrench going in the right direction And that's why you need a Torx bit because it's a it's a star it's a 50 50 star Torx. What's neat about this drill that I really like too is it's got your lights so it'll, it illuminates as you're working. So now we're going to tilt this up a little bit like this and on the bottom it's got this clamp right here. We're going to open it. This slides forward. So I'll put some light here so that the viewers can see. This has a sliding little device right here, and your other side is gonna have one too. So you slide this all the way to the left, and then this pops right out like this. So once you take this off, make sure you put this a little bit inside like that so that you don't lose it. And then we just get underneath here. Be careful, you should actually wear gloves I'm not wearing them, but you should wear gloves because the parts on the legs underneath these seats are very sharp and they're probably also dirty. You wiggle a little bit and there it is. <coughs> Once it's out, then we close this door, put these tools to the side, and then I usually stick this hand in between here to give me some support tilt it and then the seat comes out like this and the reason why we take them out 
is because if you notice you see all that gunk and that's this is where you buckle up and all that gunk and hair and <laughs> everything especially on this side of the car if you guys notice let me get the lamp so you can see a little bit better so you see that's why we take them out because most of the uh, grunge is right in here and it also gives you lots more space when you run your extractor when you're cleaning the carpet so folks that's how we take the seats out and um, so what we'll do is um, uh, we'll give you a take maybe on this one or another car um, on how to take the seats out safely and if you notice the electrical is right here it's just the big old plug it's not some of your Asians will have three or four connectings your Hondas on most Americans and Ford cars it just has one single plug which makes things a lot easier you don't have to mess with a whole lot of cables make sure that when you take the um, when you take the seat out if you notice I rolled the windows I'm not going to be messing with the ignition because anytime you turn that ignition if there's power it'll tell you that it'll the air the airbag button will come up on the screen because it's telling you hey there's something wrong with the seat so make sure that when you do this that you're not going to turn the car you're just going to do your work assemble it back together and then that way you don't get an airbag on your dash so uh, that's how you do it folks thanks for watching um, we're going to continue to do videos on other types of cars especially you guys that have the sports cars so uh, on some we do have to reset with the scanner or a computer but uh, when we get to those i promise you guys to do a video on that uh, please don't forget to um, subscribe and give us a like on the channel if you if you like this video and uh, thank you for watching and you guys have a great day bye